Hi guys, I'm gonna demonstrate you how to use an operating system of uh, Zol defibrillator, which is a M series. As you can see in the video, uh, there is a button which can indicate which is in the off mode, which is to on and off. And you can see the monitor display over here and uh, defibrillator options. This is a biphasic unit where you can use this for defibrillation, pacing. A synchronized core division and also you can use this as an automated external defibrillator as an AED. Apart from this if you see it on top of this you can see the charge button and next to that you can see analyze when you want to use this as an AED you can press the analyze mode so where the monitor will prompt you what you can do next when you attach the patient to the cardiac monitor. And you can see the energy selection button where you can select your joules, how much energy need to be shocked for this patient and the last is to press the shock button, it's number 3, shock and near to the screen where you can see 4 soft keys which indicate the leads, where you can select your leads lead 1, lead 2, lead 3, AVR, AVL, AVF, V1 to V6 plus the parallels mode, when you want to change you can use this leads mode and the size button where you can increase your amplitude where when you have a low amplitude rhythms you can increase the sizes up to 3 mm and uh, alarm suspension suspension you understand what it indicates suspension when you want to view the alarm you can use this for alarm suspension recorder when you want to get a printout of the ECG or a 12 lead ECG you can use this to get the printout and bottom of this you can see five soft keys which will be used depends upon the uh, requirement what it indicates in the screen and these two green buttons will be used for the pacing where you can select your milliamp the energy output and with this you can select your uh, pacer rate pulse per minute and bottom to this you can see two buttons which indicates a summary and a code marker where when you want to select the code marker you can use it I will explain you later on and these two buttons where you can increase or decrease the volume and the screen brightness increase or to decrease so I'm gonna switch on this so once it's switched on it will start with four beep sounds where it indicates it's in the monitor mode because we put the screen uh, the monitor in the monitor mode and you can see the ECG leads off because we didn't connect this case to the patient and with this we get the cables where you have four ECG connections which is red, uh, black, yellow and green where you can attach this to the patient as read your green book red on your right side, yellow on your left shoulder green on your left bottom and black on your right bottom so once you attach this you can see the ECG will be analyzing what it requires and when you want to use this as a defibrillator turn the switch to defib mode Check. Yeah. where you can see it is defaulted to 200 joules of shocking joules and it's in the parallel mode because you need to shock the patient immediately once you turn it on to the defib mode once you are in parallel mode you can see this my defibrillator doesn't have a hands free Pal because I don't use the pads because it's really unsafe and requires a lot of time and uh, can cause burns to the patient. So we recommend you to use always a multi-function pads. It's not expensive, uh, but you can see it's written Philips because the Zoll pads are very expensive. That's why we use the Philips pads, which can be. connected to this cable this is a Zoll connector to the pads but as we are using the Philips adapters so I'm using this adapter to convert the Zoll connector to the Philips connector so, so once I attach this the Zoll pads will come like this where the connectors will be like this which will be attached with this Philips connector 
and as per the pictures drawn on the pads, attach this on the patient chest, sternum and this will go onto the patient apex. So once you attach, if you want to use it as an AD, press the analyze button and it's going to analyze because it says stand clear and uh, because now I cancel this because I didn't attach this to the patient, it just the pads are connected left over. Okay. And uh, when you want to select manual energies, we can increase, decrease where you can see the energy level is dropping and to increase, you can see the energy is increased, maximum you can increase it to 200 joules. And you can go ahead, press charge, the energy will be selected 200 joules, once it's ready, you can press the shock button to deliver the shock, but now I don't want to shock it in the air. And uh, specific about the, um, you know, I can't be able to show you the uh, synchronized cardiovision because I don't have any rhythm. But in, in this corner, you can see there is a sync button, sync on off, where when you press this, it's convert into synchronized joules. But because the patient is the monitor is not connected with the patient, that's why you see the dotted lines. So once you switch off, it will go back to the defib mode and switch on it will go to a synchronized cardio uh, And Next to this you can see the soft piece alarm where you can set the alarm limitations. So for this I kept for the ECG monitoring is 30 joules, uh, 30 beats per minute is low and 150 goes high. When it goes beyond this or lesser than this it starts giving you alarm. Same as well as for the SPO2 saturation 85 is the minimum and maximum is a 100 percentage and I can increase or decrease this option by use of the soft key. What has been displayed over there actually we can increase or decrease by selecting the parameters and when you are done you can go back to return then you will go up to the main screen and next button you can see the ID selection where you want to enter the patient name or the patient ID you can select with the use of the soft keys. Now I don't want to use this so I will uh, go back to this and you can see wave 2 and you can see there is one dotted line which indicates an ECG. Once I press this I have the plethysmograph of this SPO2 also. So when you want to see both the uh, uh, graph to be seen on the screen you need to press the wave 2 and once you press again it go back to a single wave and pressing this too, you will have an ECG and uh, let us smoke wrap monitor. The next one is the parameters where you have an ECG and SPO2. By selecting this, you can select how much sensitivity you want, average sensing time, whether you want to sense every 4 seconds, 8 seconds, 16 seconds. Once it is selected, you can enter and it will set. Now, I want Every 4 seconds it needs to be set and it goes back and then return it goes back to the main screen as well as for the ECG. If I select the ECG, it gives me disable pacer direction, so it needs to be disabled. That's all about this soft disk when it will be keep on changing where it is needed. And as I was talking about the 12 lead ECG, this defib or very good in using pre-hospital setup because you can I do a 12 lead ECG with use of the Zoll defibrillator where you have a 12 lead ECG connector which can be connected where you got the four leads, the monitoring leads which goes to the patient and after attaching this you have a connector where you will attach your 12 lead ECG and your chest leads will be attached to the patient. So that's about your 12 lead ECG. And once attaching, you can see in corner of this, there is a 12 lead option. Once the leads are attached, make sure the patient is not moving. The last corner and your right hand side corner, you can see acquire. So once you press this acquire, the ECG is going to be printed with your ECG printer papers. So once it's done, automatically it gives you with the 12 lead ECG plus interpretation where it makes your job easier, where you can analyze what exactly the patient has got uh, the ECG, the arrhythmias. I'm going to show you the how to use the pacing uh, 
switch on this to the pacing mode where you can see here it's a white bar which indicates in the pacer mode and now we can see this dotted lines the pacer spikes defaulted i have a 70 pulse per minute milliamps is zero so i want my heart rate minimum at least to achieve at 70 so my heart rate is 70 so i will increase my milliamp output and until I get the uh, capture from the ECG because now I right now I don't attach this to the patient that's why I start giving alarm okay and uh, this is voice prompted and when you want to change the ECG papers the bottom of the monitor you can see and below this there is a hole where you can push this out to remove the paper and when you want to insert a new paper gonna insert here and make sure you have a little bit of paper hanging out and push this until we are a click sound and it's locked so you attach and goes back to the off mode and uh, that's the base about my Zoll defibrillator have a good day thank you